The 2012 NHL draft will go down as one of the worst in the league's history. Starting right at the top with famous first overall bust nail Yakupov, things really didn't get better after that. Yakupov was out of the league after six seasons and only 62 career NHL goals. And even if the Oilers would have passed on Yakupov, they would have taken Ryan Murray, who granted now has a Stanley Cup ring, but hasn't even come close to living up to that second overall pick pedigree. Really, none of the top four picks came even close to living up to their potential, with the Habs taking Alex Galchenyuk third and the New York Islanders taking Griffin Reinhardt fourth. There were some decent defensemen taken in the top 10 as Morgan Riley went fifth to the Toronto Maple Leafs, Matt Dumba went in the top 10, Hampus Lindholm went sixth to the Anaheim Ducks, and Jacob Truba went ninth overall to the Winnipeg Jets. But we don't get our first star level forward in this draft until 11th overall when the Washington Capitals took Philip Forsberg. Now, the Capitals ended up just flipping him at the 2013 deadline before he even played a game for them in a trade for Martin Erat. And that's a deal that's widely considered one of the worst of the salary cap era. Now, there were some really good players taken later in the first round, and there were even a few hidden gems throughout this draft, but for the most part, the 2012 draft was lackluster, and a lot of teams would love a redo. And that is exactly what I'm here to do, so let's get into it. Starting at 10th overall, where the Tampa Bay Lightning originally took Slater Cuckoo, a defenseman who has really been nothing more than a 7th D-man for his entire career. Instead, they decide to take Jacob Truba, a D-man who originally went 9th overall to the Winnipeg Jets. The Lightning get him at 10th. At 8th overall, the Winnipeg Jets, who don't take Truba in this scenario, they take Matt Dumba, a defenseman who's played his whole career with the Minnesota Wild, and I'm sure the Jets would have loved to pick a D-man who would spend his entire career with their organization. At 8th overall, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they took one of the bigger busts of this draft in Derek Pouliot, who's now with the Seattle Kraken organization. Instead of taking Pouliot, they take someone who they're very familiar with. Rival Tom Wilson goes 8th overall. Wilson originally went later in the first round to the Washington Capitals. At 7th overall, the Minnesota Wild, instead of taking Matt Dumba, they go for Morgan Riley, who falls from 5th in this draft to the 7th spot at the Minnesota Wild. At 6th overall, the Anaheim Ducks actually stick with what they did, and that's taking Hampus Lindholm. Lindholm was a mainstay on the Ducks' blue line for a handful of seasons, playing almost 600 games before they eventually traded him to the Boston Bruins at last year's trade deadline, but the Ducks, they have no complaints. Lindholm was a great pick at 6th overall. At 5th overall, the Toronto Maple Leafs, who initially had taken Morgan Riley, they opt for a more defensive defenseman in this case, going with Jacob Slavin, who was originally a 4th round pick of the Carolina Hurricanes, one of the best value finds in this entire draft. At 4th overall, the New York Islanders, instead of taking Griffin Reinhardt, they take Tomas Hurdle, who the San Jose Sharks managed to nab in 2012. At 17th overall, he jumps up more than 10 spots in this redraft and goes in the top 5. At number three, the Montreal Canadiens, they missed on forward Alex Galchenyuk in this redraft. They're picking a forward, and they're going with Philip Forsberg, who initially went 11th overall to the Washington Capitals. This would give the Canadiens the high-end forward they've been searching for for a while, and they thought they were getting in 2012 with Alex Galchenyuk. At second overall, the Columbus Blue Jackets, instead of taking D-man Ryan Murray, they go between the pipes and they take Connor Hellebuck, who was without a doubt the steal of this draft. The Winnipeg Jets got him in the fifth round and now he's turned into a top five goalie in the NHL and a guy who's perennially in the Vesna Trophy conversation. At first overall, the Edmonton Oilers get a redo of the famous nail Yakupov pick and they opt to go with someone who's going down as one of the best goaltenders in the sports history. Andre Vasilevsky, another great first round steal as the Tampa Bay Lightning got Vasilevsky at 19th overall. And now he has a handful of Stanley Cup rings, a Vesna trophy, and is considered one of the best goalies of all time in the entire sport. That is your top 10 redo. I want to know in the comments. So what did I screw up on? What do you disagree with? Let me know.